Prime Spark, women over 55, it's our time. What does that mean? Prime Spark. Prime Spark is the name of our movement. And what it means is it is our time to step forward and be who we are in the world. Not who the, we're portrayed, not who people think we are. Look at us, look at us. How does this compare with the ads you see for older women needing help? Yeah, we all need help sometimes, but we are in the prime of our lives. Women 50, 55 can fully expect now to live 30, 40 years productively if they stay healthy. This wasn't always true. But from the turn into the 1900s, we gained 30 years of longevity. That's an entirely new adult lifetime. So look for the spark deep inside that you can ignite or reignite, that will light your way into the future, into your journey, to be exactly who you came to be. Sometimes when I've talked about Prime Spark with women, they get really actually angry. And when this first happened, I had no idea what was going on. I thought, oh my goodness, what did I say, what did I say? And then one of them said to me, in total exasperation, Sarah, I don't want to think about getting older. Oh, got it. Now I'm ready for that. Now I know why women get mad sometimes. But I said to her, well, we all hope you do get older. It, it's better than the alternative. As a friend of mine said yesterday, they asked their elderly father in the morning how he's feeling, and he said, well, I woke up on the right side of the grass. You know, getting older actually is a gift. There are many people in the world that don't have that luxury. So let's celebrate it. I've talked to many women turning 50, 55, and even though sometimes we feel a few aches and pains we didn't have before, we most always report feeling better, more of who we were meant to be, finally having some time in our lives to do what we'd really like to do. So, if you want to get on board, Prime Spark Movement, what can you do? First, be sure you call people on any gendered ageist comments they make. We don't any longer put up with racist or sexist comments, and we need to do the same with ageist comments. They're not okay. And we need to stop making any ageist comments like, well, that was a senior moment. I mean, 30-year-olds forget things too. So don't say it and call other people on it when you hear an ageist comment. It's not okay anymore. You might also, when you're going through the aisles looking at cards, greeting cards, in the drugstore, look for the cards that are meant for older women. They will usually have crotchety women, and then inside there's something funny. But it's not funny. Those things denigrate us. They denigrate the woman we're sending it to. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. 
Don't send it. Don't denigrate her and yourself. Third, you might do that same thing with ads. Look at ads in magazines. I do that all the time now. And what I see are 20 somethings, cute, sexy, in size two. And again, older women needing help. There's an ad that's out all the time with a daughter helping her mother look through the retirement village brochure. Let companies know you don't appreciate it. We have a huge economic buying power. Let's use it. So, women over 55, it's our time. Let's get out there and make the most of who we are and what we have to give to the world. When has the world more needed our wisdom, our experience, than right now? Come join.